Back on the show is James Vick, who's going to be taking on Polo Reyes coming up here at UFC 211 on May 13th. James, what's going on? How are you? Um, nothing. I'm good. Just training hard and getting ready. Yeah, and then let's talk about your last fight, man. Uh, very impressive performance over Abel Trujillo. You get the third round submission at UFC Fight Night 104 back in February. How happy were you with your performance in that fight? Oh, I was very happy. Uh, everything literally went exactly how we planned it and how we expected it. And um, I knew I knew that he couldn't deal with my pace, and I knew I was going to gas him out, and I knew I would break him eventually, and I feel like that's what happened. Yeah, and was there ever a point where you thought maybe you wouldn't get the submission? I mean, Trujillo has lost a bunch of times by submission, but as the fight went on, did you feel like, you know, were you worried at all that maybe it would go to a decision? No, I was I was surprised he got out of the first one, to be honest with you. I was very surprised. I think I had, because my arms are so long, I had put the choke too deep in, and I think that's what happened. I just made the adjustment the second time, but actually, you know, um, I don't – I expected to knock him out, and I felt like I was close to knocking him out after I landed that knee. But, you know, he ever, like a lot of these guys, it's kind of like, you know, how what Nate Diaz said about uh, his style. He's like, you know, I don't have a lot of knockouts because after he beat McGregor because everyone shoots on me. Like I have half my wins about submission, but I'm not the one in there taking, uh, you know, taking double legs and trying to put people down. They're trying to take me down, you know. Absolutely. Um, now you're uh, fighting on UFC 211. Uh, how happy were you when you got on this card? Because I know you really wanted on, and, and here you are. I'm super happy. Uh, Thirty minutes. That's like 30, 40 minutes from my house. Uh, I live. It's in Dallas, American Airlines, and I live in Fort Worth. So I'm super excited. Fight in front of my, my home city and all my people. How much have uh, people been hitting you up for tickets? I'm um, a couple, a few, a few of them, but I, you know, a lot of them, I just kind of ignore because I'm like, oh, you know, you should know, you know, that I'm only getting a certain, a certain amount. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're taking on Polo Reyes, uh, seven and three. How do you feel like you match up against him? Um, I feel like, you know, he's a good opponent. Everybody, everybody in the UFC is a good opponent or they wouldn't be there. I feel like all my strong points are better than his. And I feel like my strong, his strong points are my strong points um, with the boxing and the striking. And I feel like, I can literally beat him anywhere I want to. Fantastic. Um, as far as training camp goes, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Um, I, I've been training a lot with my boy Sadiq Youssef. He, he just uh, fought for victory uh, uh, fighting championships. I've been training a lot with him because he's a very good boxer and, uh, you know, very similar style. But Sadiq's way more athletic and more versatile than Polo Reyes is. Okay, good stuff. Uh, who, who are some of the other guys you've been uh, working with? Um, uh, my boy, uh, uh, who fights for one FC on, uh, on law and song, uh, the Burmese Python, you know, that that's his, his fight name. Uh, uh, he just fought for the one FC title back in January. He ended up c- coming up short there, but, um, I've been sparring with him some too, and been grappling a lot with, you know, I grapple with DJ Jackson, Tim Spriggs, you know, those are, you know, uh, world champions, you know, a lot of black belt, Nogi world champions and stuff like that. So, and wrestling a lot and, you know, everything, just all great partners, same partners as I always have. We're a couple of weeks away from this fight. How's the weight cut going? And did you get much of a, you know, a buffer between, because this is kind of a quick turnaround to uh, take this fight. Yeah, I actually started the first couple of weeks of my camp in Thailand this time. So, you know, it was kind of a training vacation. Obviously, I'm, you're training very hard and everything, but still you get to go sightseeing and, you know, uh, doing a bunch of other stuff. So it's still fun. And, um uh yeah the weight cuts you know like it always is it's never easy but i got george lockhart and uh i always make it work do you have any idea you know if all goes well in this fight you get a quick finish when you'd like to get back in the cage after this is there any cards that you're kind of looking at yeah i'm working uh, uh i got a couple uh things i'm thinking about but for sure i want to fight four times this year so i get this fight then maybe if if a good opportunity comes, I'll turn around and fight again. You know, if I take no damage, I'll turn around and fight again in like a month or so or, or a month and a half or whatever. But, um, you know, preferably I'd like to take the summer off and, you know, heal my body up a little bit and then maybe fight early fall and then late, late winter again and get me, get me four fights this year. Cool. Is there anyone you want to fight? I know you're probably keeping an eye on the rankings and everything. Is there anyone that – I know you're not a guy to call people out, but I'm sure is there anyone you kind of have your eye on? I plan on after this fight going ahead and, and calling a couple people out on the mic. So I'm going to save that for, for, for after the fight. So tune stuff. in to what I was going to say, yeah, take advantage of that mic time. Not enough fighters do that. So I, I definitely, I definitely looking forward to that. Um, what's your prediction? How do you see this fight ending on May 13th? 
I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to a decision. I think I'm going to beat the guy, and I think I'm going to finish him. And uh, I, I see it finishing. I think I'm going to finish it any way I want to finish it. I mean, I'm not overlooking the guy, but I just feel like there's levels, and he's not he's not ready for my level. I, I feel like I should be fighting a top top guy right now, and none of the top guys want to fight us. You know, all of us guys knocking in on the on the on the top the top 15 you know i i called that evan dunham after last fight and i didn't hear any reply backs and you know kies that don't want to give me a rematch and they, they basically just want all those killers to cancel each other out but after this fight i'm going to be seven and one in the ufc so i'll get you know i'll get what's coming to me i'm not you know worried about that but i know that my record you know after this fight it's going to be seven and one in the ufc that's one of the actually better records in the entire ufc if you count win and loss ratios so um, I know that it's it's all going to come to me, and I'm going to get what I want. Um, so I'm just uh, I, I just think that I, I'm going to finish a guy. I think I'm going to finish him within the first within the first two rounds, and uh, wh- wh- whatever way I want, head kick, right hand, um, submission, whatever I want. If you're trying to take it easy outside of training, what what would I find you doing? Well, like tomorrow is my day off. I don't practice on Sunday, so I'm going to go fishing for a few hours, try catching some fish up here in Maryland. It's a little different than the Texas fishing. I, I'm better in, te- in Texas, but it's all the same, you know, when you're catfishing. Um, uh, and then when I'm, you know, when I'm out of camp and stuff, I like to go hunting. I like to play basketball. And I just, I like to train. Like, that's not just my job. That's my hobby. I train twice a day year round. So, um, you know, one, one time a day, usually on Saturdays and rest Sundays, so I pretty much train, you know, every day, like almost like Dillashaw said a few years ago, you know, I don't have a camp. I have a lifestyle. I just train all the time. And then I um, I play basketball sometimes and I go hunting and fishing. And um, you know, I'm excited after this fight, I'm going to buy me a new, a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty badass new rifle and uh, with a night vision scope and start sh- uh, pig hunting in Texas, going hog hunting again some more and go fishing with my family and stuff like that. Cool. Uh, you mentioned fishing. I don't know if you saw this, but uh, Gregor Gillespie, after he won at UFC 2, uh, uh, the, the Buffalo card, he said that um, he's the best fisherman in, in the UFC. Do you? Uh, w- would you be able to put your skills up against his, you think? Well, it depends on what kind of fish is he talking about. Is he, is he talking about catfish, bass fishing? Uh, that's true, what yeah. I, th- I think it was like a general term. I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember what he said. It might have been catfishing, actually. What, what, what's your skill set? What, what are you the best at when it comes to fishing? I'm cat catfishing for me, and then um uh uh actually me and my dad and if you go look at my Instagram and stuff, me and my 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 family like we we put trot lines out a lot. We're from you know from the country in Texas, so we put out trot lines and and we catch we we catch gang loads of big big catfish. So yeah, I don't think he's on that level. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, everyone's got to check out this card. It's stacked. I can't wait for it. UFC 211. It's May 13th. James, uh, thanks again for joining me on the program. Where can people find you on social media? If you got any uh, thank yous or sponsors or shoutouts the floor is yours um yeah just uh all three of them uh uh facebook instagram and twitter is all james vick mma and um just want to thank my team uh team little urban all my teams i train uh with back home in texas as well and then um uh my management ko reps and um uh everyone tune in uh may may 13th the ufc 211 because i'm gonna put on a show it's gonna be exciting